Hello and welcome to Mimi's Sketchbook. Today my illustration was inspired by Paul David Tripp's book, New Morning Mercies, and it is June 20th. And this is a picture of a crab apple tree that I have in my backyard. And from back up, a ways back, it doesn't look too bad. But as you get closer, you can begin to see that it is not in very good shape. But even so, I still like this tree because in the spring, it just puts on such a beautiful show of white flowers. And then when they're spent, they fall to the ground and it, there's so many, it looks like snow. And I also love it because this tree frames my backyard when you enter it from the side of the house. And I just love that look. But this tree looks like it's been through the wars and it, it really has because it survived an event that we had here called the October storm. And that was a monumental storm that um, took down, snowstorm, that took down many, many trees. And I'm very grateful that this tree survived because so many branches had been broken off that um, it was pretty uh, touch and go that this would survive. So I want to take care of this tree. And one of the ways I do it is I make sure it has enough water and um, pull these ivy vines off of it because the ivy loves to grow up it. And in the spring, this tree sends up something called suckers. And suckers look like tiny little trees that come up around the base of the tree. And at first it looks, it looks cute. It looks like a little forest of trees and it's very cute, but suckers actually are doing the tree harm because they are depleting the tree or sucking the, all the moisture or moisture away from the tree and the nutrients away from the tree that it needs. So I need to keep an eye on those and trim them back as soon as they start to come up because before they grow very quickly and they can easily take over. So I just did that the other day and probably had to cut back 40 suckers that had sprung up since spring. Today in his devotions, Paul Tripp has a, a poem and it starts out, we just never stop talking to ourselves. We never stop preaching some kind of gospel to ourselves. And I'm paraphrasing here, but he says, is it a gospel of, gospel of poverty, inability, hopelessness? Or is it a gospel of hope and mercy and forgiveness and love? So when I thought about those talking to yourself and saying negative things, which I do do, it made me think of those suckers. And those suckers, they just seem to grow overnight. And I really have to keep my eye out for them because they just, if I don't, they'll take over and they'll just grow up and totally hide the tree and and take over all the nice things I have growing around it. So I think that's a pretty good picture for myself and a reminder uh, to be careful of what I preach to myself and to cut it out as soon as I see something negative start popping up and before it has a chance to suck out the joy and the happiness and the hope. So thank you for joining me at Mimi's Sketchbook. I hope this was an encouragement to you and God bless.